Dear friends, the last video we discussed about the basics of centrifugal pumps. In this video, <coughs> we are going to understand the common problems faced in the centrifugal pumps. Before that, centrifugal pump is the common pump used in most of the process industries and it is more important for you maintenance engineers or any engineers to understand the performance of the centrifugal pumps. So the most common problems faced in the centrifugal pump is the cavitation. The cavitation causes the centrifugal pump high vibrations and it will affect all the parts of the centrifugal pumps. There's bearings, seals, shaft and it will degrade all the materials exhibiting a poor performance of centrifugal pumps. So to understand the cavitation, you should calculate what is the current cavitation concern in the centrifugal pumps. So this can be identified by using NPSH, net positive suction head. Do you know how the cavitation forms? The cavitation always forms during the suction stage. When the pressure inside the pump drops down below the vapor pressure, with respect to the temperature, it starts vaporizing and form a bubbles. And these bubbles hitting on the impeller it sounds like clapping. And this will affect the total pumps, parts. And this is what we called the cavitation. To calculate the cal cavitation, you should understand the required net positive suction head and the available net positive suction head. So most of the running pump, the first step is to calculate the available net positive suction head. This can be done by using the formula, the simple formula for the net positive suction head. To calculate the net positive suction head available, we can use the formula. Yes, this is the summation of static head HS and the surface pressure head HG. And these values should be reduced by the vapor pressure of the liquid HVP and the friction loss in the pipe valves and fittings HF. This will be applicable in the suction line to the centrifugal pump. I will just explain you with a simple example by using the picture yes here you can find the reflex pump yes the reflex pump is the centrifugal pump going to pump the liquid to the deep propanizer from the reflex drum according to the formula we need to calculate the static suction head yes this, the name itself mentioned the reflex drum is the suction reservoir or tank or vessel from this drum it should reach to the pump and distance between this pump datum line you can see in the picture and the location of this reflection drum the vertical it here it is located vertically from upside above the centrifugal pump and this distance is called hs here it is given distance is the 6 meter the suction elevation head and the second one is the HF here we are going to see about the HF as I told the cavitation will appears during the suction stage and you need to consider the friction in the suction and given friction for the pipings and valves before the suction side is sorry before during the suction side is piping 3.5 kilopascals and the valves 1.4 kilopascal and this should be the value of this kilopascal should be converted into the meter or feet here in this example I am using meter so normally the to identify the head net positive section head the head will be measured <coughs> in the unit meter or feet and next one is the to understand the surface pressure of the liquid that is here the given is 1380 kilopascal and you should consider the suction surface pressure of the liquid not the discharge pressure as I told the cavitation is only considered for the suction side so here it is given is 1380 kilopascal and this also should be converted to 
meter and the given vapor pressure also the same value 1380 kilopascal and this also should be converted into uh, unit meter normally the by using the inlet temperature in the industries engineers used to calculate the vapor pressure and here it is given as 1380 kilopascals the same value and once you populated these values in the formula you can get the final value the net positive section head available is 4.97 meter whether this is acceptable the cavitation is still exist how you will calculate you should use the pump performance curve i will show you how it looks this is the pump performance curve you can get this curve in the oem manual <coughs> this is provided this is rated by the original equipment manufacturer of the pump it is available in the uh, data sheet or the inspection certificate or in the manual of the pump here you can find the required positive net positive suction head and before that i would like to tell you briefly about this pump performance curve in the vertical axis you can find the total head in meter what is the total head required and <coughs> in the horizontal axis you can see the flow rate the uh, the flow rate of each parameters with respect to the diameter of the impeller here you can find a 215.9 dia and 241.3 dia rapidly it is getting increased and this is the uh, basic requirement for any engineers to identify or to select the diameter or if they want to re-rate the pump they will use this pump performance curve and even you can find uh, the efficiency what is the efficiency uh, rated efficiency for this pump for different parameters and here the given npsh the npsh the net positive suction head required is 2.7 meter you can find here and what is the available net positive suction head is 4.97 so is it okay or not yes is it okay there is no cavitation the cavitation can be avoided because the value is greater than 2.7 meter it is 4.97 meter so the pump is running uh, without cavitation it means so by this method you can find the cavitation of the running pump and uh, <coughs> if it is the less than the requirement 2.7 meter then the pump is having uh, uh, high ca high cavitation so it will affect the performance of the pump so in may immediately the maintenance engineer started troubleshooting by giving a corrective recommendation uh, to avoid the cavitations so this is the uh, crucial and common method used in the process industries to calculate the npsh and if you have any clarification or uh, questions you can leave your comment in the comment section and please subscribe to watch more videos in future thank you for watching